hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started then go to your file select new then change it to pieces 1080 then by 1080 leave your resolution at 300 and i'm going to use rgb color mode because it's for social media then click on great this is our working background now so over here i'm going to copy my color code from the text document here ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color and paste ctrl plus v to paste now i'm going to my resource file now to import the background i'm going to use in this tutorial all right so the first one to import now is this one drag it to photoshop to import it now scale it out then to cover it all right now so the next thing to do now then i'm going to my filter blur gaussian blur then and i'm going to to use 8.8 .8 to blur it this way all right so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to the this one this color mode and, and i'm going to change the the color mode to hard lights something like this all right so having changed it now to hard light then the next one i'm going by going back to my resource documents and i'm going to import this image over here down to photoshop then drag it up and reduce the size like this is okay it's okay like this then and now the next thing now to do then i'm going to change the color mode to color dodge then you will have something like this then i'm going to apply my layer mask and blend it On this one over here, I'm going to duplicate it. Control plus J to duplicate and right click. Then you flip it horizontal and I'm going to drag this one over here then to have something like this. Okay. Then I'm going back to this image and I'm going to change this one to see how it's going to look now. I'm going to make use of this multiply because this is something I'm going to like to use. I think this one is going to be better than this add light here or soft light. So between these two, either multiply or soft light, then you can make use of these two. Okay, so but now I'm going to make use of this multiply over here because this add light is too harsh for me okay so i'm going to use multiply then the next one now i'm going back to my test documents then over here then first thing to do, then I'm going to apply a camera raw before coming back to my text document. Okay, so over here, I'm going to group this one all together. Control plus G to group and I'm going to press hold my Control plus shift plus alt key and I'm going to press E then to create this layer for me. You can see the layer over here. So now I'm going to my filter then select camera raw wait while it load 
all right so over here then you can see the code i'm going to use here you see the temperature is 35 white the tint is minus minus 71 okay so i'm going to get it now minus 35 and this tint is minus 71 then the exposure is minus 35 and the contrast 14 minus 35 and this one is plus 14 then and the last one is the shadow which is minus 63 shadow okay so then this is what we have over here right now now i'm going to click on ok then to create this background like this okay so having done this one now then the next things i'm going back to this place then and i'm going to copy this test over here Ctrl plus C to copy and this is the font I'm going to use. I'm going to make use of this font over here. The font Lato. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the alignment to left. And I'm going to change the font to Lato then make it semi bold or bold anyone you want to use then i can change it to bold when the need arise then reduce the font this way then go back to your resource file okay the logo is not here so i'm going to bring the logo now to so over here is my logo and i will position the logo over here then bring this one to the front something like this okay so then always zoom out and zoom in to see the outcome of it Then use your arrow key then to bring it down so okay like this all right so now we are moving forward now then and now i'm going to copy this one Control plus c to copy you can duplicate this one Control plus j then position it around the ear select your test to highlight it and control plus v to paste so you can increase the font size like this is okay then i'm going to apply the character spacing something this way Then I'm going to change it to bold. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. Then you bring it down like this. Then highlight it. And I'm going back to my test document to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then Control plus V to paste. Now go back to your character spacing and reduce it to something like maybe 40 all right then increase the size
so i'm going to zoom it now this way then to see the outcome of it so in this case now i'm going to increase my present font then take it up like this use your arrow key then to bring it down like this all right then zoom in over here i'm going to duplicate this one and bring it down then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy and the font i'm going to use here is this so i'm coming now select your test to highlight it ctrl plus v to paste No, I'm going to reduce this one. Then I'm going to apply vertical alignment on this. Control plus A to select all. Then you can see a line here. Then I will apply vertical alignment to centralize the test then ctrl plus d then to deselect the line you are seeing over here so this is what we have now then i'm going to change this font color to something orange or yellow something like this then the same thing we apply to this one then i'm going to click on this want to apply the tests over there okay then select this one and i'm going to change that font to the font here so i'm going to copy the font name then go to my font here and i'm going to paste to get the font then this is what we have over here all right Then over here, then I'm going to reduce the character spacing of this one to 20. All right. Now, I'm going to also apply a drop shadow to the test over here. So over here is the setting. Then I'm using multiply for the blending mode and the opacity 100% distance is 4 then the spread is 5 and the size is 10 then I'm going to click OK so what I'll do now I'm going to right click then copy the layer style then come over to this one right click and paste the layer style right click and paste the layer style then to get the the style of the shadow so now that we have something like this so the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going back to my test document Now I'm going to copy the theme, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to white, the font color, I mean. And over here, I'm going to change the font to astronaut something like this the font color to white then right click to apply your layer style 
then increase the size then i'm going to position it around here so now i'm going to group this one together Then go back to your test document and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. And over here, I'm going to make use of this font here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the size. something like this then change the font color to this color over here right click and paste the layer style then duplicate this team here ctrl plus j to duplicate then bring it over here select your test tool and i'm going to remove this one then to have only this one over there then come back to to this one then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and over here i'm going to use the font lato here and make it bold black bold Then for this one, I'm going to change the font to Astronaut. Then increase the font size. Something like this. Then use your arrow key then to bring it down like this and reduce the size to align with this day over there use your arrow key then to bring it down then right click and apply your layer uh, your layer style then you will have something like this now i'm going to drag this one up So you can see that this G now, letter G, is on top of this natural. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Select your test tool, Ctrl A to a light and control plus v to paste then use your arrow key then to bring it down increase the size of the font Alright, then I'm going to change the font color to this color over here. So this is what we have over there. 
Now I'm going to group them together. Ctrl plus G to group. Then you can now increase it or decrease it later while we are working. So for now, I will leave it like this. Then I'm going back to my resource file then to import this image over here. I will reduce the size of this image and over here I'm going to position it like this then increase it let it be like this then I'm going to zoom out to see how it's going to come out before any other thing all right so for, I'm going to leave it this way then the next thing to do now then zoom in and over here and i'm going to apply the setting you are seeing here so the first thing now i'm going to apply this hue and saturation to the image then go to your color and i'm going to select this hue and saturation then I'm going to click on this to create a clipping mask on the image and the setting here then you can see and I'm using 167 plus 30 167 and this one is going to be plus 37 so you can adjust it so for now so now and over here you can see that this one is zero so I'm going to leave that one like that for now so then then you can also apply color here by clicking on this then to change the dimension of the color so what i did is to click on this then i'll click on this color so from there then you can apply any adjustment of color then you want 37 then 160 something so you can adjust it to the way you want it So, alright, here I'm going to enter it 167 manually. So, this is what I have. This one is zero. Alright, so then you click on this one, then to create a clipping mask so that it will not affect the background. So, you can see the differences why I said you create a clipping mask on it. You can see how the background change color. But when you click on this, it will create a clipping mask to only the image. Alright, then the second one now, then I'm going to the color balance then this color balance here then i have plus four plus one plus twelve okay then over here plus one then plus four and plus twelve great a clipping mask only to the image so when I click on this place, then you can see the effects. I don't know if you can see it very well, but you can see when you turn it off, then you will see a differences on this image. All right, then I'm going back to my hue and saturation because this is not what exactly I want okay so this is something something like this this is what i want something like this because i want the image to blend together with the background so i think something like this is okay this is too much i think something like this is okay then i'm going to back 
So as you can see, I think this one is okay. All right. So the next thing now, then I'm going to do is to bring the name. Then Control plus C to copy. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate, and I will drag it above this one. Then bring it down over here. Select your text to highlight it and Control plus V to paste. Then I'm going to reduce the size and I will bring it down to somewhere around here. Then after that, I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. Then take it above here. And bring this one down over here then select your test to highlight it then I'm going to copy the name ctrl plus C to copy then ctrl plus V to paste then reduce the boldness and over here I'm going to use semi bold Then reduce the size of the test. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Control plus J to duplicate. You bring it down. And come over here to copy this one. Then select your test to highlight it and control plus V to paste. On this one, I'm going to make it bold black. Then increase the font size. Then you bring it down. Then I'm going to zoom out to see how it will come out. Then over here, I'm going to reduce the font size something like this is okay also i'm going to reduce the size of this one then use your arrow key then to bring it up all right then we move forward before then then I'm going to group this one together. Hold your shift key to select, then control plus G to group. Then I'm going back to this place. And I'm going to import this light flare over here. I will position it at the top here. Then go to my blending mode and change it to screen. I'll leave it over here. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. And I'm going to blend the edges. Then scale it out. And I will position it around here. Then something like this is okay. I will use my arrow key. Sorry for that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the tool. Then move it up this way. Then now, I'm going to select a rectangle and I will draw a rectangle over here. Then change the color to this color over here. So it's okay. Before then, I'm going to bring in my time and date icon 
then reduce the size this is for ear then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select a test to then change the font to black then change it to zero then ctrl plus v to paste reduce the font size then i'm going to change it the bonus to heavy then ctrl plus j to duplicate then go back to copy this one select your test tool highlight it ctrl plus v to paste then reduce the font size to make sure that they are in line together then i'm going to bring this one down this way Then over here, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. I'm going to increase the font size. Copy this one, select your test to the Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to make it bold to reduce the boldness from heavy. Then I'll position this one over here and I'm going to duplicate this one. Then bring it over here and copy this one. Highlight it, then you paste. Now I'm going to reduce it like this is okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to import this time icon reduce the size then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one use your arrow key then to move it I'm going to copy from here since I have it here now then I'm going to paste then something like this reduce the size then I'm going to group it together Then Ctrl plus A to alight all, then apply vertical alignment to centralize it, then Ctrl plus D to deselect, and I'm going to use my arrow key then to move it up, then go back over here, and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test to, and Ctrl plus V to paste. And I'm going to move it from bold heavy to ordinary bold. Then reduce the font size. And I'm going to apply character spacing then to make it look like this. Something like this. Then I'm going to reduce 
the size of the font then apply ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment then ctrl plus d to deselect then use your arrow key then to bring it down this way also the date and time to bring it down and i'm going to have something like this over there then zoom out to see the outcome of it then what you are going to do now after this then is to go back to our background over there then to create a shape over here then we are going to select our shape tool click over here then down to this place hold your alt key then i'm going to click out here i'm going to join it over here okay so we have it already now then i'm going to click out then in this shape now then i'm going to create a color from somewhere like this like this then i'll click ok then double double duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate and i'm going to reduce it this way now on this one i can apply any color because i'm going to create a clipping mask on this one so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to duplicate this background here then take this one up right click and create a clipping mask then i'm going to drag it down to this position where the image will show like this then go to your filter then select blur gaussian blur and i'm going to reduce it to something like this 6.6 .6 or below that then i'll click ok then after that then i'm going back to my resource file and i'm going to import this icon over here and i will reduce the size then i'm going to hold my control key and press u for hue and saturation then i will drag this one over here to apply white color as you can see then okay i'm going to copy the location now Control plus C to copy, select your test tool, and over here I'm going to change the font color to white and the character spacing I'm going to reduce it to 0% and then Control plus V to paste. Now I'm going to reduce the font size. Then I'll position it around here. Reduce it this way. And I will now drag this one over here. Then zoom out to see the outcome of it. Then select the test again. And I'm going to apply the light right alignment. something like this and I'm going to use my arrow key then to bring down this shape over here Control plus zero then to zoom it to fit 
so over here then this is what we have so now the last thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to the background over here and i'm going to import this image here Then I'll position it over here, then scale it out this way. Now I'm going to apply a layer mask and I will blend the top here and the side here also over the side here. Okay. Then go to your blending mode. Now, then you can change it to whatsoever you want. So you can see we have different of them. This is luminosity. Then highlight, short light, then overlay screen lightning. So the one I'm using here is the lightning. Then I'll click on this lightning. I will increase it this way. So this is the outcome of this design then also if you want then you can reduce the opacity to 55 percent or 50 percent the way you want it then oh so for me i'm going to make use of the 55 percent for the opacity so now this is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching if you like this video please can kindly subscribe turn on the notification bell then and also i use a fiber account if you need any flyer that you want to order please kindly visit my fiber account the link is in the description and make your order also to increase your view on youtube channel you can use the two body link in the description then to optimize your channel or any other channel you have thank you so much i really I appreciate your following.